Good morning, guys. I'm Taurus with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's reading, um, today and tomorrow's Ascension readings for March 9th and 10th, 2019. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Sorry you guys missed me yesterday. I didn't do a reading yesterday because I was told to take a break, so I did. Um, anyway, so I hope everybody had a great Friday. Let's just go ahead and see what's going on for Saturday and Sunday. Universal Energies, what messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process? What messages do you have for March 9th and 10th? Thank you. Ear Chakra. It says, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So it just reminds me, like a lot of people are so worried about why they're not hearing with their 3D or in, with an audible voice um, when they're here in spirit. And they're so worried about that, that they're missing out on the information that they're getting telepathically. Guys, most of the communication that we will receive will be telepathically. If you hear them with an audible voice, you're very, very blessed. It doesn't happen very often. It's more telepathically. It does happen, but when, when it happens, most of the time it's telepathically. So just try your best to focus on it not being one, two, three. Look that up. On it not being something that you're hearing, but also pay attention to like the repetitious things that are coming into your mind and um, all of that good stuff. So <clears throat> Universal Energies, what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. What other messages do you have? Okay, and I'm also hearing real quick about the ear chakra um, that a lot of you are hearing really high-pitched tones. When you're hearing those high-pitched tones or like the buzzing or staticky sounds in your ears, pay attention to the repetitious thoughts that are coming in or the things that you're daydreaming about at that time because those are telepathic messages that are coming in as well. Yes, okay. So make sure that you're paying attention when there's buzzing and ringing. Instead of trying to hear something audibly, listen or pay attention to the repetitious thoughts, words, um, visions that you're having, what have you. Repetitious words and songs I'm hearing. What other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. What messages do you have? So the, the energy for the past couple days, three days really has been really sluggish. Even though I have a lot of energy, I feel just really slow and tired and just all my thought process seems really slow. Um, all of that, I'm told that that is due to transmissions that are coming in. Um, and I heard that they were um, uh, plasma transmissions is what I was told. Am I supposed to take all of these? Just this one here? Okay, thank you. Um, so anyway, hopefully everybody's dealing with these things. Okay. I know I've got a little bit of a rash and different weird spots on my body. I was told it was from that as well. So sacral chakra, it says you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. Okay, guys. So like I was just talking about 333, the Ascended Masters are working with you guys right now. So pay attention to whoever's coming up into your mind repetitiously. It's been uh, Mother Mary and Jesus for me a lot lately. Even though Jesus is always with me, I've had Mother Mary popping up a lot, which helps with like that nurturing part of the person, the goddess energy, what have you. But anyway, um, so it just reminds me like we're so, so sensitive right now. So make sure that if you feel like something's making you uncomfortable or making you sick to your stomach or what have you, whether it be food, people that you're around, situations that you're in, whatever it may be, make sure that you are changing your life so that those things don't bother you. 411, look that up as well. Be be ready for rapid, quick, rapid change um, in all areas of our lives, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, energetically. Okay. Energy drinks gotta go, guys. Sorry, but they gotta go. Universal Energies, what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2000? Am I supposed to take both of those? I heard yes, so let's see what they have to say. God box. It says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So a lot of you I hear have already made the, these four, five, six, look that up as well, 
have already made these but aren't really using them. So use them, guys. If you have a God box, use them. If you don't have a God box and you feel led to make one, there's a confirmation. Just make sure that you're making one. This is just a box that's sacred to you. You can put gems or stickers, whatever you want to, on the outside of it. And then um, just use, like, pieces of scrap paper. Write down your worries or concerns or your prayers things that you want to manifest into your life put it in the box and claim it is done just know that god and the universe and the angels are already working behind the scenes to take care of it act as if you already have those things manifested into your life by feeling the excitement the joy the happiness all of that stuff that comes with it so that um you can man because that's the feelings that actually manifested into our life all those lower vibrating feelings is what actually blocks us from manifesting things into our life so the next one is heart chakra it says the answer that you seek is in your heart right now be open to giving and receiving love that's kind of just self-explanatory i'm just hearing like self-love there's so many people that are going through these periods of learning who they are um like having to get rid of these fears that keep coming up um those feelings of not enough or not being good enough um what have you all of those things are coming up for some of the some of you people and and just know that self-love is the key right now just just tr it's all about trying to get back to that self-love is there any more angel therapy that would like to come out i heard yes so let's see what else they have to say universal energies what other messages do you have for march 9th and 10th 2019 please what other messages do you have <coughs> The next one is crystals. It says the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. Instantly, I'm seeing children that are crystalline, um, children that already, I'm hearing that are already awakened, um, were born with the galactic DNA, the DNA for, um, to be, um, more Christ conscious centered, um, they already have spiritual gifts and things like this. Um, some of you need to be buying crystals for these children. You already are aware that they have these gifts or either you're aware that they have these gifts and they haven't been really talking to you about it. Just start putting crystals around them and just like talk about things in front of them and see if they engage is what I'm hearing. Yes. A lot of you need to be switching your crystals out um, daily and are not. So make sure that you're talking to your crystals and ask if you're supposed to carry the same ones that you carried yesterday, if not, which ones are you supposed to carry today? And then whatever pictures come to your head, that's the ones that you may need to make sure that you carry. Are there any more angel therapy? Yes or no? I heard yes. So let's keep going. What other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process? What other messages, messages do you have for March 9th and 10th? I thought a card had flipped out, but I guess not. 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. Are there any more messages? Am I supposed to take this one? Okay, I heard yes. It's clear yourself. It says, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. I'm seeing somebody getting getting into an argument with their husband. There's a lot of tension. So if this is you, make sure that you are being loving and compassionate and not judgmental trying to hear them out i'm hearing this is something to do with um kind of like you're picking and choosing where you think that this person should be in their ascension and it's not where you want them to be listen 777 look that up we are exactly where we're supposed to be and if we're not exactly where we're supposed to be, then we know that. And it's already aggravating. We already know that we need to change things about us. But we have fears that we have to overcome just like everybody else does. So please do not try to force people into changing, healing, whatever. They do that at the pace that they're meant to do it at. Okay? So just know your process is your own process. Stay out of everybody else's business. What are, are there any more angel therapy? I heard no. Okay. Am I supposed to take this one? Yes or no? I heard yes. It's Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive, in positive new weight. About to sneeze, sorry. <coughs> thank you. Somebody said bless you. Whoever said that, thank you. Um, anyway, so this is for so many people. I hear that this is a lot of people moving or wanting to move, thinking about moving 
pay attention to the repetitious thoughts that you have about moving because you're getting information um, mirror 1001 so that you know you're getting information about um, places that you're supposed to be going and visiting some of you this is just temporary visits so that you can be um, something to do with locking in the key on the grid or keys on the grid something like that if you know what this is about message message me or either put it in the comments below because I'm not real for sure what that means but it has something to do with a magnetic grid and being a key holder I, he I hear you know who you are okay and there's a male and a female that should that should be getting a message about this okay what, if, what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019, for all individuals already aware? They're on an ascension journey, going through an awakening process. Are there any other messages? I heard yes, so I'm going to keep going, just making sure. I felt like they're not wanting to throw any out. Thank you. A star, it says you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Okay, instantly... Um, I know it kind of doesn't really have to do with this card, but it obviously is a message for somebody. I instantly seen that some of you or one of you is starting to connect with star systems or stars themselves. So I'm hearing stars and then I see slash planet. So you must be having some kind of, hold on a second. I'm hearing communication with different star systems. And, it, and um, it's not something that you've shared with very many people, if any, I'm hearing. But you need guidance on this. You've been getting in these intuitive thoughts on who to talk to and who to message about this. And make sure that you're doing this because you're not alone in this. There are so many people that's already connected with different star systems, um, all kinds of different planets and things like that. And if it's about communication, it tells me that you're going to be communicating with different races, uh, different species different beings okay yes yes I'm right okay so if this is you just know that you know there's people out there make sure that you're you're listening to those intuitive messages that you're getting about who to reach out to if you need to reach out to me until you know who it is go ahead and reach out to me I don't know it may be me that you're supposed to reach out to I'm not sure there's several okay anyway you deserve the best reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise i'm hearing this is just a confirmation about all those pe all those blessings that are coming in for so many people i heard one 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 four yes one 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 four okay just know that like we're getting ready to have a big takeoff to a lot of blessings and miracles we're blessed every day that's not what i mean but like there's a big huge transformation coming for so many of us this month mid-month Okay, so just wait for it. It's coming. Here, just be patient. You feel the anticipation. I know. 1313. 13. Look that up. <laughs> what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019, please? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. What other messages do you have? Thank you. Archangel Raphael says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So some of you are already aware that you're a healer. You've been working with this angel. You've been working with a lot of different angels. Some of you need to, to step it up to the next level. I'm here and get more creative. Use more different energetic tools. Um, use that childlike mind. I heard 12-12. Anyway, use that childlike mind and creativity to, um, to do this. And I'm also hearing this is something to do with healing music, meditative music, um, something to do with with that so he um this angel the collective of angels is is also helping people with that type of stuff music meditative music and the healing within is what i'm hearing okay archangel gabriel says you have an important purpose involving communication and the art so that's where the music comes in i'm that is art please don't allow insecurities to hold you back i will help you i'm hearing the healing is an art as well dancing just being able to communicate at, at all to, uh with uh 
the telepathic part of it is an art is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, so um, if your animals go crazy when you're asking for this angel to come in, it's I, my dog does this. My dog goes crazy when Gabriel's around. Gabriel is a big, big, big presence. Um, large, <laughs> tall, in all aspects, just so big and so energetic. And um, my dog goes crazy when he sees him. So if you call on that angel and your animals go crazy, that's probably what it is. Put a blanket of yellow or red or something around them to give them that calming feeling and, and it'll be okay. Ask Ask Gabriel to connect with your animals before you actually like uh, do any kind of like meditating or whatever with Gabriel because that might help as well. Are there any more angel messages? Angels, what other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process? What other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2000? Thank you. 19 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey. And going through an awakening process. Are there any other angel messages? Yes or no? I heard yes, so I'm just going to keep going until I get the next one. Is it this one? Okay, thank you. So the next one is... <laughs> we have Archangel Raphael, Michael, uh, Gabriel, and now Uriel. So we have four Archangels out right now. <clears throat> anyway, Archangel Michael says, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. I don't really have much more to say about this, guys. I just, you know, it doesn't make, it doesn't surprise me that these, all of these angels came out right now because we're going through, we're always going through huge transformations, but there is a huge planetary shift that's going to happen and everybody's going to start feeling it. The chaos is really going to pick up now. So just know all these angels are just really working with everybody right now. Archangel Uriel or Uriel, however you want to pronounce it. Your emotions are healing, which enable you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And guys, I'm here and again, this is about self-love. You know, learning to love yourself unconditionally. I'm hearing, look in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you today. You are beautiful. You know, when I when I brush my teeth and brush my hair and, and get ready for the day and everything, I always look in the mirror and I say, thank you for creating me beautiful. Not everybody's blessed, you know. And I'm not saying that I feel like I'm drop-dead gorgeous, but I feel beautiful. I, I feel like I'm beautiful on the inside and out. And, you know, and it's all of the changes and transformations that I've gone through and all the healing that I've done that has made me feel beautiful. You know, trusting in the process and getting closer with God. You know, it's just, see, asking God to show me, to let me see through your eyes, God. How do you see me? Eventually, you'll get there. Sorry. Sorry about that. Are there any more angel messages that would like to come out? I heard not at this time. <laughs> okay. Animal spirit guides, what messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware of their own ascension journey? Thank you. I'm going through an awakening process. What messages do you have for March 9th and 10th? Thank you. 2019 for all individuals already aware of their own ascension journey. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to stop because there's four that came out. Okay, the first one is the tortoise. It says you are fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. So a lot of you are just feeling all over the place and don't know if you're supposed to go right or left. Um, it's the energies that are going on right now, guys. Just make sure that you're going outside um, asking that the earth will, will take in all the lower vibrating energies that you're pushing into it. Put it, you know, take it into the center of the earth, root it and ground it into some kind of gem in the center of the earth. I always think of a diamond and then I pull that energy back up and just energize my body. Let it flow out through all my exits, you know, the fingertips, the toes, the eyes, the, the crown, the ears, the mouth, all of that guys, just let it just flow out and, and also do it with the sun. You can pull down the sun. You can pull down the moon, just imagining that energy coming down into, I wish this would stop the energy coming down into your head and filling it, fill up your body and pushing down the lower vibrating energy into the earth and then cycle it. Just keep cycling it all the way through until all that lower vibrating energy is gone and make sure you're putting hedges of protection around you so that you're not picking up lower vibrating energy from any people, places, things, or situations. And I'm, I'm having like these energetic burps. So that's just a confirm another confirmation. Okay, so the next one was penguin. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. 
told you like that we're getting ready to get into the second week of March and things are just going to start taking off for so many of us. Just just be ready for quick, rapid change. Okay, chameleon says stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Go with the flow. That's what I'm hearing. Just go with the flow. 2002 mirror. That's two mirrors today. So that tells me that there's going to be a lot of reflecting, that you're going to start seeing a lot of things about yourself, the good, bad, and the indifferent that need to be healed. And it's going to be things that need to uh, have immediate attention is what I'm hearing. This is not for all of you. This is for a lot of you, though. And then polar bear. <laughs> Vivian, <laughs> this is for you. I literally just heard Vivian. <laughs> okay. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. This is for people that you're talking to, you know, about ascension, about I'm hearing even religions. Try to take the religion piece out of it and just talk about spirituality. Talk about your understandings and not your beliefs, but what you understand because of what you've experienced now. Try to learn everything anew. Are there any more um, messages that would like to come out? I heard the bottom for the animal uh, guides, octopus. It says practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. I heard when we got to change, we got to change everything. The way that we act, the way that we dress, the way that we talk, the way that we present ourselves. We have to be non judgmental to ourselves and others. Is there any other messages that would like to come out? Angel messages. I heard yes on the angel messages. So let's see what else they have to say, real quick. What other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th? 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. What other messages do you have? Adriana, it says, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. I'm hearing so many of you are starting to have daydreams, but not night dreaming. That's okay, guys. That just that just lets you know that you um, two ten or twenty. Say it again. Twenty two ten. Look that up. Okay. Anyway, I'm just hearing like so many so many of you are not night dreaming anymore, but you're having daydreams all the time, and you're hearing hearing these these words that are coming in. But it's your voice. Just know that's the telepathic communication that's coming in. A lot of times, it's our voice that we hear. So how do we decipher between whose voice it is? Is it, Scott, is it God's voice? Uh, if, if you believe in the devil, is it the devil's voice or is it my, my voice? So the first thing you do with those thoughts, like am I my human self? Is my human self thinking about that thought? And if you're not, then okay, is it of love and light? If it is, then you know it's from God, the angels, anything that is um, of light. And if not, then you know it's from something of a lower dimension that easy then start pushing away those lower thoughts so if you're having lower thoughts because there's always things in the spiritual that are influencing our thoughts okay so just know that if it's not of love and light then just push it away with three positive thoughts or ask the angels to transmit that energy back into love and light claim it is done okay is there any other I heard to read the bottom. It's Fiona. It says, now that you've asked angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. And I'm hearing, pay attention, like your throat chakra, you're going to be speaking your truth in so many different ways to so many different people. And um, your third eye, pay attention to all those repetitious thoughts, visions, and energies that are coming in. Okay. Anything repetitious in nature needs to have some type of attention, either action put into it or healing of some sort or, you know, I don't know, changes, of uh, you know. Are there any more angel messages, animal spirit guides, angel therapy? Yes or no? I heard yes, so let me see what else they have. This looks like it's going to be a long reading. What other messages do you have for March 9th and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey? Think, this one? I heard yes. <laughs> it's Archangel Michael again. So he's really letting you guys know he's with you. Says you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. And I'm hearing through the situations that I was just talking about. Okay. 
Are there any more angel messages? That, I mean, uh, angel therapy that would like to come out? I heard yes, so let me see. <laughs> what other messages do you have for March 9th and, and 10th, 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey or going through an awakening process? What other messages? Am I supposed to take them both? I heard yes and then stop. Okay, so it's if you get if you get nervous, focus on service. It says put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. I'm here and don't worry about whether or not your financial needs are going to be met. I've been worrying just a slight bit, you know, child support courts on Wednesday, the angels told me I'd have $1,000 and I have 700. I believe the 300 is going to be in there. However, me getting closer to child support it's just the way I feel. Even though I don't need a thousand dollars, that's what I want to take. I want to be able to take a thousand dollars every time that I'm there. And I believe, you know, with what the angels say that it's going to be there. So I just need to quit worrying about it. Worry is only going to manifest the negative result. So not getting the thousand dollars. Just guys, quit worrying about the hows and the wins and the whys. Is what I'm hearing. And then vegetarian or vegan, it says fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. And I'm not, I don't really have much more to say about this. It's kind of just self-explanatory. Are there any other messages that would like to come out today? Okay, let me just meditate and see what I'm supposed to do healing on today. Give me just one second, please. Okay, guys, I'm here in throat and ears, and I made sure that it was the ears. I keep feeling like a lot of people are having, like, problems with their right ear, like being clogged feeling or something like that. Two, three, four, look that up. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm going to just get everybody into a relaxed state real quick. I'm going to blow into the phone. When I blow into the phone, you guys know the drill. You're going to get relaxed. If you don't get real relaxed, it's because you have blocks or implants that need to be removed. So keep coming back or make an appointment with me, you know, what have you, so that you can eventually feel that way. So anyway, I'm going to blow into the phone. When I blow into the phone, you're going to feel light and floaty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do um, the chakra, uh, throat chakra healing and ears, inner ears. I'm going to blow into the phone now. So you may feel as if your spiritual body is lifting up out of, your, uh, out of your physical body. You'll be aware in both your physical and spiritual bodies. So no worries about that. Um, am I supposed to do the throat chakra first or the ears? Yeah, I'm going to do the throat chakra. So it's going to feel as if I'm open, activate, cleanse, balance. Remove any blockages or implants, please. For all people watching now and viewing at a later date. Thank you. So you may feel as if there's like a big, thick, like something that you need to swallow. You may feel as if your throat's getting kind of tight or thick. Um, so I'm just going to pull this out. It may feel as if a tube or a big glop of something's coming out of the front of you. You may feel like you have to swallow or cough. <coughs> You may have to take a drink or something like that as well. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push energy into that area. So you may feel that flowing in or it may feel like it's filling up out this way. You might feel it coming up and into your neck. That's where I'm feeling it. Make it spin in the right direction, please. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to put my left hand behind my neck and it's going to feel as if thing... Things are being sucked out or vacuumed out the back part of your, your throat chakra and, and energy will be pushed into the front front part. So it's going to just cycle through. It may be warming up for you, tingling. Okay, now I'm going to blow into the throat chakra in the front, and I'm going to expand that energy in all directions, inside and outside of your body. I'm going to do that now. So you may have felt like a ripple of energy coming out through like your throat in this way. That's kind of how it feels like to me, literally the direction that I'm, that I'm doing it and the pulsating. So that's how it feels. Is there anything else that I need to do to that one? 
Okay, I'm just going to imagine that I'm blowing into the back part of the shocker and blowing anything that's left in there um, out the front part. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so a lot of you should be feeling a lot more relaxed than you were before. I'm, I'm going to blow into the front again and expand it in all directions, inside and outside of your body. And then I'm going to move to the ear chakra. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. I heard some of you should be seeing yellow and some of you should be seeing like a pale or a sky blue. Just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to go up to both of the ears and I'm going to work on the... the inner ear chakras which are behind your eardrum so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to push energy into both areas and then I'm going to start pulling with the left on the coming out of the left ear and then pushing into the right ear but I'm going to just go ahead and push energy into both ears right now so you may start to hear things you may hear popping you may hear high-pitched tones or buzzing or ringing bells you might hear the angels start to sing you may hear music instrument musical instruments you may feel some tension behind your eardrums that's that's normal okay so I'm gonna push energy into the right ear and I'm gonna vacuum out the left ear so you're gonna feel that cycle all the way through your head What I'm doing is, what I'm vacuuming out, I'm taking it through my arm and into my heart space and transmitting it back into love and light and then send it right back out my right arm and into your right ear or those that are viewing now and at a later date. It may be picking up in speed because I'm feeling a pickup. You might be having a lot of like um, pain or tension behind your ears as if you're like going down a big hill when your ears are getting ready to pop or whatever. That's what I'm feeling, especially in my right ear. And it feels like there's a lot more tension on the right ear. So it's going to feel as if I'm pulling out like cotton behind the ear. For some of you, I'm going to just keep pulling until I feel like it's all the way out. And we grab again. So some of you should start to be hearing a little bit better now. Um, this healing will continue for several days is what I'm hearing for some of you. So if you just like sometimes feel like you can't hear very well out of one ear, but you can hear real good out of the other, that's why. But what I'm told to do is I'm going to blow into your crown chakra, so the top of your head. And when I blow into it, I'm going to intend that the energy be split into half and go out both ears to push out any kind of, excuse me, that's just a confirmation, um, lower vibrating energies or energies that are left over that need to come out. Any, any, um, past life energies of things that you've heard that were um, damaging or traumatic or uh, made you have any kind of fear i'm going to push those out now so i'm going to do that now i'm going to blow into the top of the crown and push out both ears and i'm still having a lot of tension in my right ear so i'm going to just push energy into everybody's right ear with a focus on getting out all of that tension and stuff behind the ear. Okay, so I'm going to blow into the left ear and push this energy out the right ear. I'm going to do that now. Okay, now the tension is gone. Is there anything else that I need to do? So I'm just going to push energy into the right ear. It's going to feel like there's energy, like, like an energetic water behind your eardrum just filling up right there. And now I'm going to do it into your left ear behind your eardrum. I'm going to just fill up that energy right there. And then I'm just actually going to just make them combine in the mid midpoint in your head. Okay, and I'm told that the healing is done now, and I am going to go ahead and tell you guys today's um, I am affirmation is I am connected to the endless abundance of the universe. I know it's backwards, guys. 
anyway, 3434 three, and then 303. <laughs> All right, so everybody have a great Saturday and Sunday, a fabulous weekend. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow. If you have any questions or if this reading or healing resonated with you, please let me know below in the comments. And, um, yeah, I think that's all I need to share with you guys. I love you. Everybody have a great day. Bye.